What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be working on Project Blueberry a little bit. Or at least the parts before actually working on the car. So, if you guys watched the last video, we picked up a carbon fiber hood for Project Blueberry and it needs a lot of work. The underside was painted white because they were trying to do the rising sun and the top side uh, clear coat is completely gone. So, what I want to do today is sand it all down, paint underneath all black, and then clear coat the hood. This is probably gonna be a span of two days because we lose daylight a lot earlier now. And in part of putting the hood onto the car, uh, we're gonna be doing the carbon mirror covers on the spoon rep mirrors that's on the car currently. We're gonna be installing the new spoon front lip, which is right there. I don't know if you can see that. I was on Facebook the other night just scrolling around and I came across this hood for very cheap and it was already in the direction that I was headed to yesterday. So I swooped it up and the reason for it is because I kind of want that whole um not panda because the car is not white but i feel like if the car has black wheels you kind of got to have a black hood so because the car is vinyl wrapped and the hood is the worst part of the entire car i figured i'd just replace it with a carbon one so the vinyl mark on the street garage told me all this little specs is on the hood is actually the clear coat peeling off of the vinyl wrap itself now i didn't know vinyl wrap has a clear coat but apparently he wraps before and that's what he told me it was the entire car itself is really clean as far as the wrap goes other than like peeling and stuff because it is about five years old maybe that this car was wrapped but out of the entire car only the hood is the worst so we're gonna try to get a carbon hood on here to complement the black wheels the spoon style front lip the carbon mirrors the carbon wing let's get to it So I hit the hood with a 100 grit. I did it with a 320 and it wasn't really cutting down. So 100 cut down the paint um, pretty well. And it was a little thick because like I said, they have the rising sun on here. So you can see those lines. And I was cutting those down and then I went back with a 100 grit by hand just to get all the little contours that the DA didn't touch. So I got this all sanded out all corners all little dips and stuff and not really trying to make it perfect because we're gonna paint this with rattle can it's gonna be under the hood you're not gonna see it and um, I'm gonna flip this over to the carbon side before I paint this because I do want to paint the uh, top side with it on the car so that way I don't have to handle the bottom side after everything is all um, done so flip it over and I think on this side I might just do I don't know, might, might do like 320 or 400. I don't think I have 400 on a DA, but I'm gonna do three and see um, what it does. If it cuts too deep, we'll change the grid. I showed you guys that I used a hundred and then after I did a hundred and all of the clear coat I went over it with the 320 and uh, now I'm gonna hit it with the 400 the hood is coming along I mean it looks it looks good from when we got it but you can kind of see that like greenish haze from when a hood um, fades like this but nonetheless uh, it looks good for the most part I am gonna tint the clear coat to kind of give it a darker look on the hood like I did on the KRX and uh, I'm gonna do a wet 400 and I think uh, that's gonna be my final sand before we do some clear coat.
so this entire time I was sitting here sanding this hood down um, I didn't realize my package showed up it's been sitting here the entire time big shout out to bull boost performance for getting this item out super fast I'm very excited for what's inside this box now because we only have about an hour of sunlight left it's already setting back over there I'm gonna clear coat this hood tomorrow but what I am gonna do right now is I am gonna spray the underside of the hood the white black and I'm gonna be using the rust-oleum turbo can let me grab that this thing right here is from Home Depot, um, I don't remember seeing it there anymore, but when they did have it in stock, I did buy a can and then I had to return it because it didn't have a nozzle. I got this one. I only used it a couple of times. It works really well and I didn't use it last night on the ECU cover, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to spray underneath the hood, big surface. The turbo can sprays really wide with a fan pattern and we should be able to cover it quick. So I wanna at least get that painted so that way it can dry overnight so we can handle it tomorrow on the car and then we'll do the clear coat this thing stinks The coverage with this thing is crazy. I will tell you that the Rust-Oleum paint does take a little while to dry, especially now because it's cold. But um, this is done. We're just going to leave it here. And we're going to switch to Blueberry with the Project CRX. Okay, Blueberry's on the driveway. Now let's jack it up, pull the bumper off, and test fit the new lip. I don't know why I said I was going to pull the bumper off. Normally, I do it here on the bench and uh, attach the lip on while it's upside down. I'm just gonna leave it on the car. I'll just lay on the floor and mount the lip going up. Bumper stabilize on the car, be a lot easier to do that. Work smarter, not harder. Ah, uh, yes, my uh, camera battery died and we have the lip on. We have it secured on both ends of the bumper. We have a screw right here, a screw right there, and a bracket right in the middle. So now Blueberry's got a spoon style lip once again. Oh, and the other one, I zip tied it back together and I threw it on the bumper on the sedan. Fits perfectly if you guys didn't know, but now you know. So guys, we have the garage closed and we have the hood drying here in the background. I did pop the mirrors off the car, had to pull the door panels off to get to the two screws on the bottom, but we have it off and you can see that this thing has like a bunch of adhesive or glue on here. And uh, when I first bought this car, I thought they were carbon mirrors. And then the more I worked on the car, uh, the mirror covers just fell off. And when it fell off, I was like, these are phony. But I'm not even mad about it. What I did a couple of months ago when these originally fell off, I scuffed it up really good and I clear coated it. You can see the carbon looks uh, pretty decent, even though it's not real carbon because it's just plastic. But it has that look. It looks awesome. Hopefully it flows well with the carbon wing and the carbon hood. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to attach this back onto the mirror because first of all, I don't have any type of adhesive here in the garage. Maybe maybe okay well i have clear gorilla glue i don't know how well this is going to do oh that rhymed what i was thinking of doing was probably using some type of adhesive or in this case gorilla glue and uh, dab it up really well and then i was going to put a little rivet just to keep it in place um, but I'm not sure how I feel about it because you may potentially be able to see it from uh, the mirror side right here on the edge. So I just want to get it done and uh, let me figure out 
which way I'm going to do this before I proceed. I'm going to dampen the mirror. Maybe too wet. Okay. Pretty dampen. Glue the other surface. If this doesn't hold together, we're just going to have to go get some double-sided tape. <laughs> I was going to say it looks legit, um, but I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This, this, this looks baloney. But hopefully it stays together and looks decent for the most part. It is what it is. It is what it is. Just came back from Home Depot, got some quick color flat black because I ran out and uh, I grabbed some JB Weld Clear Weld. This is one of the stronger ones that they have. Some epoxy. We have some bags for uh, covering up stuff we don't want painted. Got some more seals and stuff for the heater core in the um, EF sedan for when I put the dashboard back in. We have some nice seals for the heater system. Uh, got some new tape. Also went to the PO box and got this giant box that was inside fragile and uh the mirrors are on the table right here so i'm gonna assemble it back and probably get that back into the car and then we'll mount the hood on the car before we lay down some clear coat Okay guys, so a lot of manipulating going down with this hood. I finally got it to latch, although I don't like the way you have to latch it. I'll show you in a second. I had to uh, push the rubber on the side, the stoppers all the way down so the hood can sit flush. I also had to move the fender out a little bit. These are aftermarket fenders, so they don't fit the best, especially with an aftermarket carbon fiber hood, but we got the line looking decent. So right now, fully latched not coming up and it does come up with the latch release right so underneath here you can see how smushed this thing is and there's not enough meat on it i feel like to um engage the latch down here so what i did with the latch was i had to take the latch off drill the hole out a little bit more to bring the latch up higher so that it could uh lock up with this um this this hinge right here so to close the hood, I have to like pressure it from here on the top. So let me set you guys up. Hood is now latched. I could drill out the um, factory latch to bring it up higher just so I don't have to push down on the hood, but it doesn't take as much force as it did earlier. Um, I think I'm okay with it. And if it bothers me later down the road, I can always drill it out and bring it up higher so it can latch much easier. So right now we're going to, I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to set everything up with my HVLP gun and the clear coat. And then we're going to get down with some clear coat on the hood.
So I did two coats in the span of 15 minutes. I did the first one lightly and then I went second a little bit medium so we don't see a lot of the dry spots and the hood is looking good. I was talking about how uh, there's this like yellow fade from the previous clear coat and then there's like another clear coat on top of that which is what i sanded off yesterday but nonetheless it looks really good the crack on the hood if i sand it further i'm going to get down to the weave it didn't want to do that so we're just going to have to deal with it it is what it is um i am going to try to finish the rest of my uh, mixing cup here and you guys probably see there's a little black i did tint it with some dupe color and it seems like it's working all right um i just wanted to be a little darker to drown out that uh, yellow haze but um yeah so i'm gonna try to shoot the rest of this probably two more coats with that and then it'll be four total so um i should be good to go for round number three Not gonna lie to you guys, I was laying on the CRX and almost passed out. But uh, about 10 minutes ago, I laid down the third coat heavy and kinda into the fourth coat, uh, but not entirely. Third, and then I went back in the center and did a fourth in the center because I saw some dry spot. And after about a few minutes now, the clear coat seems to have settled down really nicely. The clarity looks good. There's a lot of dirt and debris because you guys obviously know I'm out here in the open, but uh, the clarity of the clear coat and the image on the hood looks really good. And the can itself has about right here. And I don't want to risk it for the biscuit because I don't want to run out like, I don't know, three quarter ways through and then have to remix and all that and re-darken, retint the clear. So I think I'm just going to leave it right here. Three and a half coats. It looks really good and utilize the rest of the day to let this tack up, if not dry by the nightfall. Um, it is already tacky but you know we get cats and stuff here i don't want them to be jumping on the hood i might leave the hood propped up just so that they can't jump on it but um regardless i am done with the clear coat i'm gonna go ahead and clean up and uh i don't know maybe i'll probably just leave the bag on here but um yeah let's let's just clean up so guys i decided to take off the masking from the car and this thing is looking fire when I brought this car to the channel, I did mention that I wanted to build this car in a style that I've been wanting to do if I got an EG. Uh, growing up on Honda Tech, I've seen a lot of like really clean OE plus cars and uh, a lot of spoon style car. And that's what I was after. This car, when I bought it, it already came with the spoon style mirrors uh, from the same owner. I bought the spoon style uh, carbon duck bill. And then I already had the slip streams lying around, which is the replica of the spoon SW388s, which I actually have the real set over there. But um, I also went and got the spoon style lip right here and to top it off the Facebook carbon fiber hood fine a little bit of elbow grease four coats of clear coat that thing is looking better than ever and uh, this is how I would have done it and honestly it looks really good for as budgeted as we did it I would put so much more time into this car if it was like a personal car to my fleet this was just something super fun we did here on the channel and unfortunately it's gonna go really soon i do have another carbon hood right here this belongs to the j front that i was supposed to put onto my krx but i don't need to do it as of right now we're not going through bodywork and paint so i'm not really looking for the mismatched panel but this hood right here was given to me about two years ago a hug upside down over there and i have a buddy that has a metal hood and he wants to trade because he don't want to cut a metal hood for his up pipes instead he wants a messed up hood which this one is kind of messed up it's missing a piece on both ends over there underneath his cut for a k and uh it is like cracked up and everything just like this one here so i'm debating if i want to trade him because he lives hella far up north and uh, i brought it down just to you know inspect it a little bit more so we're not um you know jipping each other here so uh i have this here we'll figure out what we're going to do with this later tonight but man what a beautiful sight 
before i fully close out this video i will throw some pictures at the end so you guys can see project blueberry out in the sun with the new carbon hood um but before we cap this video let's open up this package on the floor this was sent over from ef underscore dylan on instagram i met this guy all the way in the east on classic hondas and the dragon pretty cool dude and uh, he also dropped a video on his youtube channel that i checked out um k swap ef sedan super fire build as soon as he saw that i got an ef sedan he put this care package together and sent it right over not entirely sure what's inside of it but it does say it does say fragile in it so cut away from yourself not towards yourself Oh man, this thing is super dull. First thing right here. What up, Dana? Here are some sedan parts you may need for your new build. Keep making dope videos, man. Dylan, IGEF underscore Dylan, YouTube Factory Freak. He dropped the K24EF sedan. You guys should go and check it out. I'll be sure to link that in the description below. But um, some items that I may need. Oh, wow. What is this, EF sedan headrest? blue too say less ah you know i was telling my buddy that i wanted to go back to the junkyard because i don't know if my car has this plastic cover for a rear tail light and uh went back to the junkyard twice and forgot it both times but shout out to dylan because he sent the pair over that's crazy dude i appreciate that ef wiper arms <laughs> i don't have wiper arms <laughs> we have the hardware for that right here oh we have some uh, 3D printed, what does it say, Civic SI, some 3D printed um, logo for the Civic 4th gen and obviously an SI, so between the CRX or the hatchback. We do have a 3D printed antenna block off, which I'm going to use since I don't really use the radio in my car, so shout out, thank you for that. We have the uh, EF owner's manual. I probably have like four or five of these, but I will add it to the collection. Ooh, some really clean um, sun visors, man. These are definitely a lot better than the crusty one that's in my new sedan, so we'll rock these for sure. Appreciate that. We have some license plates. Technocraftcomposites.com, cool. Hondata, I'm gonna have to use that on my car. And we have a blank one. So this is gonna be, actually I'm gonna use this for when my new plates come in, and you'll see why. We have this ginormous center console. This is, this is, I can't tell if this is the blue or the black. Okay, it's a blue one. Blue center console, and I'm gonna add this to the other blue one that I have, which is actually more faded than this one, so I might end up using this. This is an SH3 right there. All the one that's in my sedan, uh, because it was taken apart um, and sat for nine years or so, uh, a lot of the stuff inside the car are sun faded. So a lot of this stuff is going to be super clutch because it'll prevent me from like having to like heat treat it, bring the, the, the new color out or having to spray it or whatever. But uh, this right here is the rear filler under the tail light. And what I like about having extra of these is if you guys remember my EF sedan, I had a battery kill off switch that was right here. I made a custom little box, had a battery kill for the battery being in the trunk. So this is nice to have, thank you so much. And last but not least, we have, these are the rear shelf speaker cover. These are the OEM ones I wanna say. Yes sir, SH4. These come in the rear of the EF sedan, super clean. These are blue, so it'll match the blue interior. Shout out for these. The other ones right here. I'm gonna have to put all this stuff back in the box and find a home location for the box because we are not fully commenced on the build on the EF sedan yet. So big shout out to Dylan once again. If you guys wanna follow him on Instagram, EF underscore Dylan. And on YouTube, he is Factory Freaks. Check out his K24 swap EF sedan, man. It's pretty sick. So I am gonna cap out the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the progress update on Blueberry. It is looking so much more fire now with all the new stuff on it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna stick around for we're supposed to go to the track tomorrow. If you guys want to stick around for more updates here on the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.